What's going on resellers, hypebeasts, and secrets, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Duncan Beaumont, and today we are going to be talking about one of the most hyped up sneakers of 2021, the Supreme SB Nike Dunk Low. These will finally be releasing on Thursday, March 4th for a retail price of $110, and they will be coming in four different colorways. We've got a black, a lime green, a royal blue, and a brown colorway. Now, like I said, these are very hyped up. They're a very highly anticipated collaboration between Supreme and Nike. Now I've heard some different rumors about stock. I've heard some people say stock is going to be very big, meaning it shouldn't be super hard to get a pair. And I've heard other rumors that stock is super low, like only 2000 pairs of colorway, something like that, which is crazy limited. So no one really knows which way it'll end up going. I can tell you one thing though, guys, Either way, even if stock is through the roof on these, they're not going to be an easy cop by any means. Like I mentioned, they will only be releasing on the Supreme website, and this release will take place at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, March 4th. I am going to be showing you guys exactly how to cop from the Supreme website manually. I know a lot of you guys might think it's impossible. You think Supreme gets botted really heavily, but Supreme is actually one of the best sites when it comes to bot protection. A lot of times they're switching up their bot protections, making it a lot easier for us manual users to cop, especially when they have hyped up drops like this. Personally, I've copped multiple BOGOs from Supreme manually. In week one, manually, I wasn't able to get a BOGO, but I did get the Cause Skate Deck, which I flipped for like 50 bucks profit, maybe a little more, I can't exactly remember. But the point is, it is possible to cop from Supreme manually, and I'm gonna show you guys how in this video. We will also go over some brief resale predictions for these shoes towards the end of the video, but again, they're gonna be very profitable and very hard to cop. Now, if all of this does sound good to you guys, make sure you drop a like on this video for some good luck copying these shoes. Use that thumbs up as a good luck button. Also, if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do subscribe as well. All of these how to cop videos and a bunch of different sneaker and Supreme content coming very soon. So again, make sure you guys do subscribe. Also, as far as the code group and the giveaway, I don't wanna to talk too much about that now. Don't wanna waste any more time so I'll have some more info on that at the end of the video so stay tuned for that if you're interested anyways though guys like I said not gonna waste any more time we're gonna head over to the Supreme website and I'm gonna show you guys how to cop from this website manually all right guys so we are on the Supreme website right now and this is the first thing you'll see when you get on the website now what you are gonna want to do to get to the product page is you're gonna go to shop and then you're gonna go to view all and then you will go to shoes now this is where the Supreme Dunks should load, and this is the link you are gonna to wanna to be refreshing right before 11 a.m. Eastern time. A lot of people will refresh new because when there's new drops, there is a link that says new. You definitely don't wanna do that. You wanna refresh the exact category, and if they do, so for some reason, remove this shoes category, then just enter in this URL. It's pretty easy to figure out, guys. Just go to like t-shirts or something and then replace t-shirts with shoes because again, shoes is going to be the category you're going to want to refresh and it is possible that they will remove this category before the drop. So you're going to want to get there. That is the link you're going to want to refresh about a minute before the drop. Keep refreshing that maybe every five to 10 seconds until the shoes do eventually drop. And as it gets closer to 12, refresh more frequently, refresh like every second, just keep spamming refresh until they load. Now, one thing I definitely recommend having set up is have Chrome autofill set up. I can't show you guys right now because I am on a guest Google Chrome user, but basically you'll just click this icon up here. You'll go to like settings or something like that. Very simple to do, very easy. You can figure it out. You'll have your address that will autofill as well as your credit card info. The only thing that you might have to change are your CVC code, the three digit code on the back. You may have to enter that and you may also have to enter your state. It may not autofill your state, so be ready to do that, keep that in mind. But definitely make sure you have Chrome autofill set up if you don't have some kind of extension. That's another great option you guys can look into is like auto checkout extensions. Those work very well for Supreme and it's not really botting, it's not really manual, it's kind of in the middle, but that will definitely help you out. If you don't wanna do that before the drop though, definitely chrome autofill is the way to go make sure you have that set up obviously these shoes are both sold out right now so i can't show you guys with those but i'll just pick something random let's say this is the shoes category you're refreshing this you're refreshing this the shoes load select the color you want you'll select your size this is one size so there's not like an um select size portion but you will be able to select your size select your size hit add to cart and instead of hitting view or edit cart 
hit the red check out now button from here chrome autofill should hit and it should enter all of your information except like i said possibly your state so you might have to scroll down to your state and enter that and also your cvc code you may have to enter that as well and then of course you do need to check the i have read and agree to the terms conditions whatever that is definitely going to be important you can also go through and do this save address for future orders thing maybe entering your address before with a item that's in stock but again chrome autofill should work so maybe just do both of those and you'll have both of those set up that will be important then once you do have all your info filled in you hit process payment it will likely be like a long payment it'll say something you might get some errors just try to keep going back keep going hit in process payment do whatever you got to do be persistent because there's likely going to be a lot of lagging a lot of errors but if you keep trying you keep trying eventually you may just get lucky in that payment may process and you may get an order confirmed screen so yeah guys that's pretty much it for how to cop from supreme again it will kind of depend on what stock does end up being if stock is high these shouldn't be super hard to cop manually and i definitely will see a lot of w's from you guys however if stock does end up being very limited it's going to be very hard to cop even if you do have like the best bot in the game you still don't have a very good chance so just keep that in mind but it's definitely worth a shot especially since this should be the only place they're releasing online i've heard rumors of a sneakers app release but personally i don't really see that happening again though that's how to cop these shoes now we're going to head over to StockX, take a look at these resale predictions. Again, though, resale is mostly just going to depend on stock. The more stock there is, the lower it'll be. The less stock there is, the higher it'll be. All right, guys, so for resale, I really don't think I have to get too in-depth with this. It's pretty simple. If stock is high, then these will probably be selling somewhere at least 500, 600, maybe more. And if stock does end up being super low, these will be a $1,000 to $1,500 range. All sizes, all colorways, no matter what, no matter how high stock is, they will be insanely profitable. And as far as whether to sell or hold them, I think either a quick flip or a long-term hold, these will 100% go up long-term, and I definitely think they'll be a good investment. I think it will be a long hold, especially if stock is high. If stock is low, 100% hold, hold all pairs. However, if stock does end up being high, maybe try to quick flip them if you're not looking to be in the investment for the long term but again any size any colorway extremely profitable if you want to play it safe i would go for this green colorway i think that will be the least hyped up the least people will be going for that and then you will have the best chance of copying still going to make a lot of profit though so that's probably what i'll do that's what i recommend you do as well but again if you want the blue colorway if you want the brown colorway for personal or something like that might as well try to cop in your size. Hope you get lucky. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's basically the video. Again, I can't really give you guys an accurate estimate of what resale will be just because we don't really know what stock will be. But I can tell you if stock is high, resale will probably be a little lower around 500. And if stock is low, it's going to be more like a thousand, maybe even 2000 if it does end up being as limited as some people are saying. As far as what colorways, what sizes to go for, it's pretty much all going to be the same. You're just going to have to get pretty lucky. I'll probably be going for like the lime green in a size eight and a half. I think that'll probably be the, like the least typed up size, the least typed up color. So that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully I'll get lucky. I'm kind of playing it safe. You could go for the more hyped up colors, try to make more profit. But in my opinion, it's going to be better to go for the less hyped up colors, but still have some very good profit. So that's basically what I think about these shoes. Let me know what you guys think about these and definitely good luck copying them. Now, as far as the cook group in the giveaway, the beta phase will be launching very soon. I'm done taking applications for that. And then once the beta phase, the testing phase is up, I will be launching the official cook group, which will be paid. Anyone can join. It might be kind of limited. I'll be opening it for like 24 hours at a time and something like that. But basically, when the cook group launches, that's when the giveaway will launch as well. And it'll either be for a number of lifetime copies to the cook group or it will like be for a sneaker. Haven't really decided that yet, but I will keep you guys updated. But yeah, guys, good luck copping these shoes. Hope this video helped you out. And until next video, guys, peace out.